So what do you do when you're spent, when it feels like you have nothing left to give, when you feel like um, maybe God has forsaken you? Back at chapter 3, verses 17 through 19, listen to these words. And the fields lie empty and barren. And even though the flocks die in the fields and the cattle barns are empty, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in the God of my salvation. Sovereign God is my strength. He makes me as sure-footed as a deer, able to tread upon the heights. Strength is never found in material possessions or abilities. In fact, there are times when those things are stripped away. Inadequacy may be the reality, but fear does not have to be the result. Today's passage is one of my favorites. It shoots down the prosperity teaching that promises a, a tenfold material return on the giving. You see, sometimes the fig tree does it, but the vines are fruitless. The crops fail. The pens and stalls are empty. That's reality, isn't it? However, there's another reality. Even when I'm going through a tough stretch, yet I can rejoice in the Lord. I can be joyful in the God of my salvation. The fear of inadequacy is thwarted when I realize the sovereign Lord is my strength. In, in, the, in the face of an impossible situation, an impasse, God enables us to tread upon the heights. He gives us all we need to climb our personal poles of doubt and fear. When God is on our side, I don't have to fear fruitless vines or empty stalls or cropless fields. God, plus nothing else, is always more than enough to, to quench my anxious heart. And I pray that God does that for you today. Father, drive this truth deep into our hearts. When nothing is left, you are still all we need. As that old saying goes, when our strength has failed, you are everything we need. When we have nothing left, you, have, you are everything we need. And we pray, Lord, that you would remind us of that often. Remind us of who you are that you give us exactly what we need, even when everything else fails. When you're all we have, we'll learn you are all we need. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. So uh, tomorrow, we're going to be releasing a podcast uh, called Picking a President. We know that during the season, a lot of people get very anxious about uh, who they're going to uh, vote for and what's going on in the election. We wanted to give you some uh, things to pray about. We we do not endorse candidates, uh, nor will ever tell you who to vote for. Never have, never will. We want to give you some things to pray about. So uh, tomorrow we release this podcast and we ask you to listen to it and then give us your feedback. We can share it with others, but there's some things that you need to pray about as, we, uh, as you cast your ballot. So Tomorrow, podcast is released. Check it out. Thanks for joining us as we continue to look at these passages of comfort and strength.